Hey, hi everybody, welcome. I'm sitting in a different spot in my my room since last week and I love how this tree is kind of like coming out from behind me. And also Misty mentioned that, um, or asked, and yes, this is Allison Wonderland um, behind me and fun story, my full name is Allison. And so when I was young, I thought it was Allison Wonderland. Um, and so I just feel like I'm really, I like that Alice in Wonderland is here with us today. So, so let's just start today with two deep breaths. And on your exhale for the first breath, I want you to imagine that you're breathing out anything that happened earlier today that you're wanting to release. And on the second deep breath, we are going to be breathing out anything from later today that maybe you're anticipating. So let's do that now, breathing in. Imagine blowing it away so you can be more present. And another big inhale. And before we do anything else, I want you to just check in again with where are you right now? And I want you to actually ask yourself, how are you? Don't say, how am I? Because we're wanting to move the rational mind aside. And so just asking yourself, how are you? And allowing your body to just answer, noticing what is the state of your mind? Is your mind pretty restless right now? Are you tired? Noticing your emotional state, are you feeling numb? Are you feeling activated, irritated, very sad? What are you feeling without needing to judge it as good or bad, right or wrong? Just noticing compassion and curiosity. And then noticing your body and just scanning your body from head to toe. Again, just observing without judgment. Are you feeling tense? Are there areas of pain or tension? Are you feeling disconnected or numb? That's a feeling too. We become numb for a lot of good reasons. Just noticing. And then I want you to set an intention for the meditation today. So maybe your intention is just to become more present. Maybe it's to release something that's been weighing on you. Maybe it's to quiet your thoughts, whatever it is. Just taking a moment to think of that intention. And then for the meditation today, you are welcome to close your eyes or keep a soft gaze. I am actually looking out my window because I can see a lot of birds. And so if you notice, I'm looking over to the left. I like to just rest my eyes outside. And these beautiful pine trees. And the cardinal sitting right there. And just beginning to tune more deeply into your breathing. Following the breath all the way from just outside of the inhale, just outside of your nose, all the way through back to. Noticing yourself coming more fully into this moment. Just 
directing your attention to the present. You can repeat to yourself, I am here. Starting to even out the breath. I want you to breathe in for four and exhale for four at your own pace. So I often get feedback that my meditations can be very relaxing. So if you're tired, I want you to keep that even breath. And we're gonna do some, some breathing exercises where we lengthen the exhale. But if you're feeling tired and you don't wanna get more sleepy, you can just focus on the inhale and don't do the activities where we lengthen the exhale. For those of you who are feeling a little bit more anxious or activated, we're gonna do some breaths that help us to calm down that overactivation, overstimulation. And so, I'm gonna have you at your own pace. We're gonna gradually go from the one-to-one -one breathing, which is four on the inhale and four on the exhale. And with each breath, just increasing by one. So you'll be breathing in for four and exhaling for five. And then breathing in for four and exhaling for six. Breathing in for four and exhaling for seven. Breathing in for four and exhaling for eight. can feel how lengthening the exhale calms the body. It shifts us into that rest and digest mode. So if you ever are feeling too much anxiety, too much energy, you can practice that longer exhale. And if you are feeling sleepy, I just have to note as a therapist, I think that sleep is so undervalued. And so if you are tired and you wanna fall asleep, that is perfectly okay. You are welcome to do that today. Sleep is so important. We don't make enough time for it. So if you did the longer exhale, or even if you didn't, let's take another moment after doing that breathing to just notice again, how am I? How are you? Asking your body, how are you? And noticing if anything has shifted just from this few minutes of meditation so far. Maybe you feel a little bit more present. OK, 
continuing to just notice the breath. You can repeat breathing in, breathing out. Just repeating that can give your mind something to chew on. And if at any moment you notice you've drifted away into thoughts, just noticing and gently bringing your attention back to the breath. And as thoughts or images, feelings, sensations arise, just noticing them coming and going like waves. Coming into a more expansive sense of the now. Outside of the thinking mind. And for this next minute, I want you to anchor your attention in the sounds. Noticing as many sounds as you can. And just practicing keeping your awareness on those sounds. You hear a humming, you hear cars or birds. There's nothing else you need to do right now. No one you need to be. Just focusing on the sounds. Seeing how that feels. And if you've drifted into thought, just gently come back. Seeing if you can notice if the sounds have a beginning and an end as they come into your ears. So with this, we're allowing more space to emerge between our thoughts, allowing more space to emerge outside of our thoughts. So sounds can be an anchor, a way that we can bring our awareness back to the present moment.
And as we go through this meditation and today, I'm just going to be adding more tools, more anchors. So feel free to just use to shift right between any of these. I find having many different techniques helps us to choose different techniques based on our context that help us to come back into this more expansive space of being to this observer self. And some of us have moments, maybe I'll say all of us have moments where we have a thought or a feeling, a situation that feels difficult to put away. And that feels like we has such a charge that we find ourselves ruminating about it. We find ourselves thinking about it when we're trying to meditate or when we're trying to fall asleep. So I'm going to introduce the idea of a, the container. And I think I've facilitated this before in these meditations, and some of you might be familiar with it from different kinds of therapy that use this idea of a container. And so imagining in your mind's eye, a container. It could be as big as a vault or as small as a jar or anywhere in between. This container is going to be something that you want to be strong enough and sturdy enough that whatever you put in there is going to be able to be contained. You want a way to put things in the container and a way to take things out of the container. We're just noticing texture, what material your container is made of. Is it wood or glass, steel? What colors you can make it as decorative as you like? And you want to make sure that the container has a way of securely closing. So if it has a latch or a key or some way that you know that you can securely close the container. And in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine that you can hear it close. And hearing what it sounds like when you know it's securely closed. And now we're gonna practice right now if there's something that's taking your attention away from the moment. You can practice just putting it away in our container. You're letting it know there's something here to process and I will come back to process this at a later time, but not now. Right now, I'm going to be present with this meditation, letting it know that we will come back to process what needs to be processed. Hearing that container securely close, and then imagining closing as many doors as you need to between you and that container. I find this really helpful, especially if you're having a hard time sleeping because you're thinking about something, just focusing on closing those doors and eventually start to feel some spaciousness from whatever's in there. Building, building this muscle of being able to direct our attention even when there's something really emotionally charged, that we get to have more choice in what we put our mind on.
And now bringing all of your awareness into the crown of your head. Noticing any sensations, lack of sensations, tingling, temperature. Maybe put your hands on top of your head. See if you can feel for your hand from your scalp. And you can relax your hands. Bringing your awareness into your forehead. Noticing any sensations there. Noticing the back of your head. Bringing your awareness into your ears. And I'm just reminded that I had some words I wanted to share for today. And they are curiosity, possibility, and openness to the unexpected. I feel like this goes along with the Alice in Wonderland theme. But as we continue with this guided meditation, I want to bring those in. Curiosity, just that spirit of openness and what do I have to learn what do I what do I have to learn from this now moment from this noticing bringing that spirit of curiosity and possibility that's something that's something in a dbt a certain kind of therapy that we ask what if Sometimes we get so stuck in our core beliefs about ourselves and others, and we get so convinced that things are true, that this person doesn't like me, or I'm not good at that, or I'm not going to be successful. So we just ask, what if, what if it's not true? What if? So if that's helpful today, just asking that question, what if? And then the next is openness to the unexpected. So thinking about what kind of inner orientation do I need to be open to the unexpected? So with that, bringing, bringing your attention back to your ears, to your cheeks, I'm bringing this openness to the unexpected. What if, what if you notice something different than you usually do during this body scan? Noticing your jaw. We tend to hold a lot of tension and anger and unsaid words in our jaw. Just noticing whatever's there, breathing into it. You can imagine breathing out any tension, tightness on the exhale. Becoming aware of the back of your neck, your throat. If you, if you are somebody who has a hard time feeling into your body, which it's totally understandable because we are trained to disconnect from our bodies at an early age. You can bring your hand along and just as I'm having you notice different parts of your body, just bring your hand. So noticing your throat. And noticing your chest, putting your hand on your chest and breathing into that hand. <sighs> Just noticing whatever's there. 
tension, anger, sadness, emptiness. Imagining sending a slight inner smile to your, to your heart center, not to cover up anything, but just to make spaciousness for whatever's there. Becoming aware of your shoulders, if you wanna do some scrunching or rolling of your shoulders, loosening up your shoulder. We tend to feel a lot of our stress in our shoulders. If you're someone who feels that weight of the world or if you're somebody who ah, feels bogged down by responsibilities, you might need some extra love for your shoulders. So. Imagining any tension in your shoulders melting like ice to water. <sighs> and bringing your awareness down your arms. into your elbows, the inside of your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, and then holding all of your awareness in your hands. And then bringing your awareness into your belly. If you'd like, you can put your hands on your belly, one on top of the other. And notice your breath coming a little bit deeper into your belly. Allowing your, be your breath to be received by a soft belly. Mm. Releasing any contraction, constriction. Noticing the sensation of a chair below you or the cushion below you. <sighs> Resting into that feeling of being held up by the chair, by the floor. Allowing yourself to relax a little further. Bringing your awareness down your legs, into your knees, the back of your knees. Becoming aware of your shins and calves. Your ankles, the bottom of your feet. And imagine that you can feel the energy of the earth below coming up into your feet. Just noticing your, your connection with the earth below. Noticing that stability and solidity of knowing the ground is always there below us. Just resting your awareness in your body as a field of energy, 
Allowing your awareness to drift from sensation to sensation. On your next exhale, I want you to imagine we're going to be doing, I think it's called infinity breaths is how I learned it. And so imagining that on your exhale, you breathe out and the, the exhale goes down out your chest and down into the earth below. And then on the next inhale, that you're breathing up earth energy and it's coming up from behind your heart. And then on the exhale, you'll breathe out from your heart and up into the sky. And then on the next inhale, you're breathing that sky energy down through the back of your heart. So it's creating that infinity sign, that figure eight. So exhaling down from the front of your heart to the center of the earth and then breathing up from the earth to the back of your heart and then exhaling out the front of your heart up into the sky and then breathing in the sky energy coming down through the back of your heart. So we'll just do this for several breaths. At your own pace. We might like to add color to this. So as you breathe that energy up from the earth, giving it a color, watching that color come in through the back of your heart. And then as you breathe in from the sky, giving that sky energy a color watching that come in through the back of your heart.
And just shift us into practicing Tanglen, just as we did last time. If you weren't here last time, or if you're not familiar with Tanglen, Tanglen is a Tibetan Buddhist word that means a Tibetan word and a Tibetan Buddhist practice. And the word means taking and sending. And the practice is that instead of pushing away our suffering or others' suffering and trying to push it out, which is our natural, understandable inclination, that actually, if we breathe in the suffering and we breathe out compassion and relief, that it actually allows that energy to move through us. And it allows us to grow our heart, grow our compassion. And so we can practice this internally with ourselves when we are met with our own pain and suffering. And as well as others, people we come across and with the world suffering. So we'll start with practicing with ourselves. And so imagining breathing in if there's something that is a source of pain or suffering for you right now. You can imagine breathing it in and breathing out, sending yourself compassion and relief. I like to put my hand on my heart for this because it feels, feels like it helps me. I can really feel the compassion on my exhale. Now this can be really, really hard if we struggle with self-compassion. So don't worry if this feels very, very difficult or foreign to you. To practice. So just practicing being wherever you're at with it. Now imagining thinking of a loved one, someone you really care about. Imagine breathing in their suffering. Exhaling compassion and relief. And now thinking of someone that you really struggle with someone who's challenging for you and imagining breathing in their suffering and exhaling compassion. So don't think of somebody who's harmful to you or someone who's very triggering, but just someone where there's some challenge. So I encourage you to practice this today as you encounter strangers, as you encounter the news. I invite you to practice that and notice. And now we're gonna shift into um, the metta meditation. I absolutely love this practice and especially doing it with a group of people. And I don't think we can I don't think we can uh, over, what's the word I'm looking for? I think this powerful is very, I think this practice is very powerful to do as a group, to focus on loving compassion. Um, I, I, I really believe that it has an impact on us and the ripples outward of this practice are powerful for our community. So I'll have you on, 
your exhale, repeat to yourself, may I be healthy. May I be healthy. You can repeat it at whatever pace feels right. If you want to just say it over and over again or just on the exhale, whatever feels right to you. And now may I be happy. May I be safe from harm. May I be free from suffering. And now again, imagining somebody you really care about. Let's do a different person than the Tang Glen practice. And imagining seeing them in front of you and repeating, may you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be safe from harm. May you be free from suffering. And now, may all beings be healthy. May all beings be happy. May all beings be safe from harm. May all beings be free from suffering. And taking a deep inhale and exhale. And again, checking in with yourself. How are you? Asking your body, how are you? Noticing what's shifted since you first sat down to meditate. And just taking a moment to send yourself gratitude for this practice today, allowing it to seep in. And before we close, again, just setting an intention for the rest of your day today. And then let's take one more deep breath together, breathing in the benefits of this practice and Exhaling your intention, imagining breathing it out into the rest of your day. So here we go, breathing in. Awesome. Thank you all so much for joining today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And I know that Sarah will be excited to be back. Um, next week with you all.